And this is probably the only way that you'll experience VR on equipment like this. Virtual reality machines are becoming very popular in arcades at the moment. In fact, a brand new dedicated VR centre called Virtual Quest opened last Thursday on Tower Hill in London. It's only the second place in the country where you can experience the full VR role-play game Legend Quest. The other centre in Nottingham is now a mecca for people who want to become elves, dwarves and pixies and battle their way through skeleton-filled dungeons. But we've got an exclusive sneak preview of a brand new game designed to run on this kit, being expertly demonstrated by my friend and colleague, Miss Violet Berlin. It's called Grid Warriors, and it should be out in the summer. Are you all right in there? Yeah, very, doing very well, thank you. I've dealt with a few spiders so far. And that's all, is it? Uh, yeah, so far. Well, it's designed for two characters, this game. One is a big, nasty alien, and the other a cyborg warrior. And they stalk each other inside a huge space vessel. Oh, well, good shot, yes. The warrior's got to deactivate the ship's self-destruct mechanism and destroy the alien, and the alien's got to stop you all in four minutes. So, have you found the self-destruct mechanism? Uh, no, no I've have found... found... Have you found the alien? Uh, no, I, look, I found my feet. Look, if I look down. It's marvellous, Violet. The universe <laughs> is safe in your hands. Well, if we can persuade her to come out of cyberspace, it's time now for this week's news and Two previews. warriors will fight it out in a head-to-head -head battle over three minutes. The object is to inflict as many hits on your opponent as possible. And an array of weapons, such as axes and crossbows, can be picked up. Richard, I'll let you do the honours. Pick a colour. Uh, I'll have to go for the yellow one, I think, yeah. All right, then. Richard in the yellow, Andy in the blue. Now, while our two competitors get to grips with their helmets, if you'd like to see if the London Road bravado of Andy Thompson could tackle the antipodean might of Richard Norton, join us after the break. Are you ready, guys? Best of luck, don your helmets and come out fighting. OK, and off they go. We can see Richard Norton's score is in the yellow. Andy Thompson's score is in the white. He's running for it, aren't oh, he? in the green, he's running. He's had enough already. I think he may have picked up the crossbow on his way, though. There, yes. Oh, he did smart move there, but... Oh, no, he hasn't. No. And that's first hit to Andy Thompson. Yes, he got the first hit. I think he sneaked behind him and got him with a chop. I think so. I, wasn't looking. I think so, yeah. Now, you can see Ryan's got the crossbow. Richard's got the crossbow. Richard's got the crossbow. They both got crossbows. They're both firing. And, and they're both missing, actually. Just yeah, I think Richard's got the advantage in height, though, although he's coming oh, down the stairs. And he's stuck behind a pillar here. Oh, he's hiding behind it. But I think he's so. knocking his crossbows in it as well. Yeah. Not oh, the most they're effective they're of cover. <laughs> oh, they're right next to each other, but they're both missing. Oh, oh yes. No. Richard, Richard one got all. one. It's one all. One all. That must have been right in the face, that one. Now again, it's Andy up top with Andy. He's coming down the stairs. Down, he's sending it to me. Locked by the pillar. Richard, there's a pillar in between them now. Oh, it's a cat spike. and mouse game, oh, Dominic. Look wants at to this. Give a side. Oh, 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 missed. Andy, dummy. Went one way, then went the other. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's too old. Oh, they both got H. That's the first dummy that anything from Oxford has done for years. <laughs> All right, so okay. it's two all here. We can there see Richard at the top. Andy prefers the bottom here. He's running, he's running across. <laughs> he's trying to draw his fire at Dominic. Trying to draw his fire across. Oh, he's been picked up. That's yes. a pterodactyl. That's right. Speed. After eight shots, the pterodactyl swoops down and picks you up and drops you somewhere else in the arena. OK, we are into the final minute now. It's two hits apiece. Now, Andy's going to materialise here. There he is. There he comes, there dropping he out of the sky. He's got his chopper and his hand. He's lost. Richard's now. sighting up here. Now he's this. gone for the crossbow. He's got the crossbow. Here comes Andy now. Oh, oh the pterodactyl's got Richard. Oh no, Andy's left there. Where's he gonna drop him? Oh, oh. blood curdling screams there from Richard. Okay, 34 seconds left here. It's still two hits apiece. It's very, very close. Oh, it is indeed. I don't see who's gonna come out on top of this. Here we go. Time's ticking down. Andy's coming up to us in the book. There's a the shot. Post. Full shot. Post firing here. Full shot. It's They're coming in for closer left. shots. They're coming in close here. There's not a lot of time left. Oh! And he gets it. 3-2 and there's only 11 seconds left here. Rich is going to have to move quickly for his level list. Where 7 seconds left. The there he is. There's Andy's coming in. And Four, he's just got a stay. Three, say. two. He's got to shoot now. No. Oh, yeah. He did it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. In the final, final seconds, Richard Norton levels it, which means the challenge is a draw.